In this video I am going to show you what happens if you run Minecraft from a USB stick and then unplug it. Let's get started. Here we are in a new 1.21.5 world, the latest version as of recording. The game is running from a USB stick, so let's unplug it to see what will happen. And the game crashed instantly when I unplugged the USB stick. I will be leaving the Windows sound so you will be able to hear when I unplug the USB. Once I am in again you can immediately tell that my position wasn't saved and the game is throwing errors that it failed to load some chunks. However, once the world loads in all seems fine. Getting corrupted chunks in modern Minecraft is pretty much impossible as they regenerate compared to some older versions which I will show later. Let's unplug the USB stick again, this time next to these cows to see if this will affect their sounds in any way. This time the game didn't crash immediately and it is throwing errors that it failed to save chunks. And once I turned around it crashed again. However, this time my position got saved. This is due to me changing some settings before unplugging the USB stick. And whenever you pause the game it saves the world. Another thing to note is that whenever you get this fail to load chunks error the world generation gets extremely slow. This also happened when I replaced dimensions for another video. Let's unplug again, this time next to this sheep. And once I turned the camera the game crashed. Other than that there are no other effects unfortunately. Let's move on to the next version I've decided to test. This is my custom beta 1.7.3 clan that I am in the process of porting to the new Minecraft engine. This is already running on the newest libraries. I have stripped out almost everything for easier porting so there is less stuff than can cause a crash. With that out of the way let's unplug the USB stick. And almost immediately we get a level safe conflict error. This usually occurs when you load a world that is already loaded in another clan. And if I try to load the world again I get an immediate crash. Next let's try release 1.7.10, the third version I will try. After unplugging the USB stick the game ran fine for a few seconds then just froze instead of crashing. After reloading the world I immediately got chunk corruption. That's one of the worst things about old Minecraft. If something happens to your PC while you are playing the chances of getting corrupted chunks are pretty high. Next, let's try replugging the USB immediately and see if the game will recover. I will try 1.7.10 first then 1.21.5. After replugging the USB stick the game froze again. Maybe I was too slow. Next time I will replug the USB stick immediately. Even if I immediately replug it the game still freezes and it never recovers. I've tried waiting but nothing happens. The server probably crashes and the client is stuck in a loop. Let's move on to 1.21.5. Here after replugging the USB stick I get an immediate crash. Let's try one more time just in case. This time the game ran for a few more seconds, but the result is pretty much the same, it won't recover. Next let's try moving only some parts of the game to a USB stick. First I will try moving the assets folder which is where all the audio for the game is located. Once the USB stick is unplugged everything is completely silent, but the game doesn't crash. The only sounds you can hear are what was cached in memory. Let's replug the USB stick to see if the game sounds will start working again. And it seems the game audio started playing correctly again. However, some sounds are still missing so the game won't recover fully without restarting. Next, let's try moving the game folder which means the world save directory to a USB stick while everything else is still on the disk. Let's unplug the USB stick now and see what happens. As expected the game is throwing fail to save chunk errors constantly and the world is generating extremely slowly due to the constant cost to save the world. Other than that the game is still playable if you have the patience to wait for world generation and the server lock. Let's spawn a few cows to see if they will disappear when I reload the chunks. And they are gone due to the game not saving the chunks as the error implies. Let's replug the USB stick again and see if the game will recover. After flying around for 10 minutes it seems that it won't recover. 
This is probably due to all fire handles being invalid after unplugging and replugging the USB stick. I've hoped for some interesting artifacts and glitches, but unfortunately due to the way Java works I doubt you can see anything weird happen except crashes, as Java code compiles while running which means whenever you call for a new class which happens constantly the game will just crash as it won't be loaded in memory. And that is all for this video, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it leave a like and subscribe for more content. I hope I will see you again next time.